Hey guys, this is not Paradox, back with the Quick Start Guides. Uh, the Quick Start Guides are basically a guide for new and returning players to fill out their rosters with strong heroes um, that are also 2,000 gold. I'm hitting all of the 2,000 gold heroes in the game, and I'm teaching you builds that you can be competitive, and you can use those builds to move up in rank, or you can use those builds just to kind of show off with your friends. Your friends have been playing this game for a long time. You look up this guide, you play a little bit better than them because you've practiced uh, this particular guide and that's pretty much the basic idea for this I, I know a lot of new players feel overwhelmed there's a lot of heroes in the game and they just feel like there's not really any one that they can kind of dominate with well we'll start off here with uh, Raynor Raynor is one of the best ranged damage carries in the game still being used at the competitive scene being used at all levels of play and as a hero that has consistently had a higher than 50% win rate almost throughout the entire history of the game. Rainer is considered one of the more boring heroes in the game because many of his abilities are rather boring, but he is a strong hero and with some practice he can absolutely be a force to carry games with and he can also be a force that can be used in almost any team comp. So let's get into Raynor by talking a little bit about what he does. Raynor is a ranged damage assassin or a ranged damage carry. He has an ability called Penetrating Round, which does a decent amount of damage, knocks back the enemy, and slows them for a small amount. Um, enemies closer to Raynor are knocked further back, so let's toggle cooldowns. If I use it at max range, they barely move. If I move it really close, they get pretty far after the knockback. Um, and that is what Penetrating Rounds does. The build that I'm going to be giving you is actually kind of related to Penetrating Rounds. Uh, so we'll see a lot of this ability because it already has pretty high base damage. We're going to be lowering its cooldown, increasing its slow, and also increasing its damage. And making it to where we heal off the damage that it deals. It's a really powerful build. Level, or not level 2, uh, your second ability... Inspire. Raynor and all of his nearby allied minions and mercenaries gain 30% attack speed and 10% movement speed for 4 seconds. Casting Inspire resets your basic attack cooldown. What they mean by that is your basic attack cooldown is the time in between your attack. So you see that I will fire off an attack about every point... 0.8 seconds, 0.7 seconds, something like that. And so what this will do is if I activate this at the right time, it will reset my basic attack and I will fire a second shot. So you saw I did a double shot right there. Um, and so you can do that double shot whenever you press your W, um, which is great if you time it correctly. If you time it incorrectly, it just fires almost in between the shots and it almost doesn't really feel like a double shot. Not a big deal. Just make sure that you fire or activate this after the first shot and you should be pretty good. Otherwise, it just increases your attack speed. It makes it to where you can do a little bit more damage faster. And your last ability is called Adrenaline Rush. With a significant 45 second cooldown and 75 mana, you can heal yourself for 25% of your max health over one second, so a very fast heal. Um, and your basic attacks lower the cooldown of this by 0.5 seconds, doubled against heroes. So its long cooldown uh, can be reduced by a decent amount. The basic idea of what you want to be doing with Raynor is something called stutter stepping. And what stutter stepping is, is you are going to cancel the end of your animation and move so that you can dodge abilities and do a significant amount of damage. Uh, Raynor is a great hero because he does... Of damage from a long range and he can do a decent amount of burst worst case if you need to and what i mean by a decent amount is at level 20 he has 3180 health so if i was to do this combo of basic attack w basic attack q basic attack because they're slowed so you get that last one in there you can do a decent amount of damage and so we do half of a Rainer's health in a short burst. So he's a great hero because he is very consistent. He does a steady amount of damage, has the potential of that burst damage, and also he's one of the safest basic attack heroes in the game or sustained damage dealers in the game because you can knock back divers and you can heal against burst mages, which means you can answer almost any situation. So while his sustained damage isn't as good as someone like Greymane, his survivability makes it to where 
he's a lot safer and he can do that sustained damage much longer. With that being said, let's get right into his build. Level 1, I'm actually going to be recommending Exterminator. I know it says Ace in the Hole in pretty much all of these builds, but I'm going to be recommending Exterminator. And the reason why is because the difference of 10% more damage during a fight is not going to be that important outside of the competitive environment. Um, you're going to just generally be able to get the time to do that extra damage. Um, and Exterminator allows you to do cams very quickly, and that's what you need as a new player, is the ability to be able to do waves and cams quickly to make a huge difference in all aspects of the game then we are going to be going into fight or flight we're going to reduce the cooldown of adrenaline rush and we're also going to allow it to give us 25 armor for three seconds that's going to reduce the damage we take by 25 percent when it's most important when someone's jumping on us when the burst damage is about to happen that's when we're going to activate that and have the highest chance of survival also, shaving off 10 seconds is going to make it easier to keep that cooldown very low and keep you topped off throughout the fight. Level 7, we're going to be taking Unstable Compound. Unstable Compound is going to increase the area of your trait. So every fourth attack, you're going to have a crit. Um, and that also is an AoE crit. So you can see every fourth attack, you will fire off an AoE. But this AoE is not big enough without the talent. Now, when we take the talent... It's large enough to where it hits all of these. So it is a great talent to pick up. And it also makes it to where it gives you back some mana and reduces the cooldown of your Q. Keep in mind that we are going to be going Q build. Um, and it's also going to lower the cooldown of your Inspire, which makes where you attack faster, which means that you get more Qs off and more Inspires off. So it's just an amazing talent. Level 10, we're going to be picking up Hyperion. Keep in mind, this is a very long cooldown ability, so use this when your objective is pushing forward, or use this when the enemies have to stand on a point for an objective. Otherwise, it's a slow-moving ability that the enemies can walk out of. But it does do a lot of damage. It can be used as a zoning tool, but generally it's best to be used during a fight that the enemies cannot leave, or during a fight where you're either defending against an objective or pushing with an objective. Try to save it for those, because otherwise it's a very long cooldown. Level 13, we are going to be empowering our penetrating round again, reducing its mana cost, reducing its cooldown, and increasing that slow so we can get a couple extra shots after the Q. So now where I said that burst combo, you would get a auto wq auto you can sneak two or three extra autos after that and our burst damage is significantly higher and then we're also going to be taking paint them red increasing the damage of penetrating round and healing and this is a significant heal if you take this talent and you get shot a few times your heal is rather large on um, if you can hit a couple people. Even just hitting one person, it's a big knockback, a big slow. But if you can hit like three people, guess what? You get your whole health bar back. And that's the greatest part about this talent and this build. So what will end up happening with this build is by level 16, because not every game goes to level 20. By level 16, um, you should be hitting your, your burst combos, you should be doing a lot of damage, and you should be lowering the cooldown of your Q, and just constantly be throwing that Q out and doing a significant amount of damage. And you do a lot of DPS and you're very hard to kill. Now, the knockbacks are a little tricky. If you've got a mage on your team, be a little careful because if you're constantly knocking back the enemies, um, you might be saving the enemy. So try to save it. If you guys are doing good in a fight, try to save it. If you're not, then just throw it out left and right. Level 20, I generally recommend execute. More attack speed flat, which means again, more Qs. Basic attack damage is increased on lower health targets, which allows you to really finish off those targets so you don't need to use your Q to finish them off. And that's about it on how this build works. You are a very mobile hero as long as you are constantly attacking and moving. And then you also have, again, that burst potential to just drop people down while they're slowed and just absolutely dominate in the amount of burst potential you have and the amount of single target damage you have. If you're attacking something like a tank, I'll refresh the fort so you can see that. There's a ton of potential. But don't forget that with Executioner, or sorry, Exterminator, you can shred through camps and that's something you will want to do for your team so you want to be taking those camps early on so that you can gain those leads but even on a tank i mean look at this guy's health right and i stutter step to stay out of his attack speed slow um but i mean look at this guy's health right like that's a tank you just shred through so keep that in mind you don't need this extra 10 percent damage at level one but this exterminator is going to allow you to quickly take camps for your team and you won't need a lot of help 
and you can always just use your E to kind of stay sustained during that. And uh, but you can shred through uh, through many camps. Now keep in mind, I'm also level 20, so it will take longer than this to do a cam. But make sure that you're getting soak in every lane, double soak if needed, which means getting one lane of soak up here, one lane of soak down here, going back up and getting a lane of soak up here. Get the camps whenever all lanes are soaked, and there are better times on different maps to get camps. You can always look up the map guides that I have, so you can see those. And utilize the sustained damage and the stutter stepping, and that is all you need to know on Raynor. He is an amazing hero. That can be used in all levels of play and in a wide variety of team comps. Um, feel free to check out any of my other videos, especially the other guides. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.